Hi, this is Deirdre McNamara from Letterkenny IT and this is the first of the Windows 7 uh, videos and I'm going to show you a bit of uh, file management. I'm going to start off by showing you how to use the maximize, the minimize and the restore buttons. So I'm just going to click on the start button down here. I'm going to go to all programs by clicking there and I'm going to scroll down until I find Microsoft Office. So I'm clicking on that and then I'm finding Microsoft Word 2010, which is the version of Word that's used in the college. So I'm clicking on Microsoft Word 2010. Now, up in the top right-hand corner, you can see there are three buttons here. Um, the red X will close things. Uh, the next one over is Restore Down, and it sometimes changes to Maximize, and we'll have a look at that. And we've got this one here, which is Minimize. So before I do that, I'm just going to type in something. So I'm going to type in, um, for example, um, cost report. Okay. So um, I want to actually do something else. For example, I might want to go on the internet. So I want to clear this out of the way so I can see my desktop again. So I'm going to go back up into the top right hand corner and I'm going to hit the minimize button here. So I'm hitting minimize. And that means it's not shut down, it's still using up my computer's resources, but it's out off the desktop. This is the desktop here. Um, if I want to go back to it, if I hold my mouse over the blue W down the bottom, uh, you can see there is a document there. So I hold my mouse over it and I can open it up uh, again like that. Um, I might want to work at two things at the same time, and to do that I need to be able to make sure that this Microsoft Word isn't using up the whole screen. So I'm going to use the restore button, that's the second button in, so restore down, if I click on that, it shrinks it down so it isn't filling up the whole screen. I can move this uh, window about by clicking up into the top area here, the title bar up the top, and if I click, keep my mouse button held down and I move, I can move my screen around and just give that a try. Okay, if I wanted it to be a different shape, for example, if I wanted it to be tall and skinny, if I hold my mouse over the edge, my mouse turns into a double-sided arrow. When it's like that, I then click my mouse and drag. So I can click and drag. Again, I wait until my mouse changes shape into that double arrow, then I click and drag and drag it down. So try just doing that with Microsoft Word, and I'm just going to move it across like that. Okay, uh, I might also want to work on Microsoft uh, Excel at the same time. So again, I'm going to go into my Start button, uh, go to All Programs, uh, go into Microsoft Office, and it's a green X for Excel, so Excel 2010, that's the one I want to open. Uh, I could maximize it so it takes up the whole screen. I can restore down, it's that middle button, and now I can shrink it so that it takes up. So at this point, I can work on both my Microsoft Word and then click over and work on Excel at the same time. Now be aware, both of these applications are using up some of the resources uh, of the computer. So you're, if you have an old computer, it might go quite slow if you're working on two things at the one time. So we've seen the Minimize button and we've seen the Maximize and the Restore button. The next thing to do is to close something down. So that's the red X. I'm finished with Microsoft Excel, so I'm going to hit the red X. I'm finished with Microsoft Word, so I'm going to click the red X over here. Now, I didn't save this cost report here, so it's going to ask me. So I'm going to hit the red X here, and you'll notice it checked to see was it saved. It wasn't saved, and in this case, I don't want to save it, so I'm going to hit on Don't Save. Now we're going to take a look at logging on to the PC. When you first switch on the machine, after it's finished booting, this is the screen you'll see. And to click on Control alt and delete on your keyboard, the keys you're looking for are these orange ones highlighted here. Control, Alt and Delete. After you've pressed them, you get this screen and you need to type in your username in the college, that's L001, and your password is usually a six digit number that you'll type in, and then you press Enter or click on the arrow. When you finish working on the computer in the college and you want to log off, um, so that nobody can access your own private work or send emails out in your name, you need to make sure you log off before you leave the machine. So click on the Start button down here. Uh, and here, if I want to complete this or power off the machine, I can click on Shut Down. Or if I just want to log off, if I click on the little triangle over here and click on Log Off, uh, that'll log me off the machine. When you finish working on the computer in the college and you want to log off, 
um, so that nobody can access your own private work or send emails out in your name, you need to make sure you log off before you leave the machine. So click on the start button down here. Uh, and here, if I want to complete this or power off the machine, I can click on shut down. Or if I just want to log off, if I click on the little triangle over here and click on log off, uh, that'll log me off the machine.